So I thought today we'd just do a quick tour around the kitchen garden. And I'm actually doing this on the same day that I did the tour of the allotment. So uh, everything can be judged by comparison with that. So I've just cut the lawn. Let's have a quick look. So these are lamb's lettuce. They're looking okay. A little tiny bit of mildew on some of the lower leaves, but I'll take those off. And these are spring cabbages. A little bit further on than the ones on the allotment. Chard, interplanted with um, beetroot, golden beetroot. Collards, lots of different varieties there actually, four different varieties. That's garlic. This is winter miner's lettuce, interplanted with spring onions. Strawberry one is over there. Blueberries, still got blueberries. Not very many left now, but uh, I've been managing a handful a day, most days. These are my new spring brassica beds, but right now they've just got field beans in. Most of them have been, I've had the tips harvested and there's a few regrown since then. Let's just take a look at the ochre. So this is the ochre that I'm growing for seed. Most of the ochre is actually on the allotment and it's looking a lot better than this, but there should be plenty here to give away as seeds. Cherry tree's looking okay. All these black con plastic containers are still full of potatoes. And this is my bean frame and pea frame. But right now it's just got loads of lights on it so that we can illuminate this whole area and the lawn so that we can continue to play games on here once the nights close in. And I've been really pleased with the lighting so far looks really nice and i have taken obviously the beans down it's too cold for beans now so i'm not doing anything i've got some more lamb's lettuce here some collets there sprouts being mainly grown for the leaves there and we have harvested the grapes now off the grapevine and we've been using those in salad mixes and Debbie's also made some really lovely uh, jelly. Amazing colouring. And kales. Now most of these kales are really for spring. We might take a few leaves off them before then but uh, we don't want to take too much off because we just want these to burst into life in spring that's the time when the allotments brassicas are all being re pulled up and replanted and we rely on what we've got in the garden so we've got quite a nice selection there i've just taken that beetroot up there and i was really pleased with the harvest of that as well we got a really well way better than i was expecting to be honest and then this is the second of my parsnip beds and this one is still growing really strongly. The one on the allotment is uh, being actively harvested right now, but we're saving these because they're a little bit better quality. Just a few bits and pieces on the seedling bench. Just a few field beans there, just to fill in any gaps. A few lettuces for later on to go in the polytunnel. And some lettuces, they'll be ready for next week to go in the polytunnel. And then Next week, probably, all of these containers will all be replanted. Those were the tomatoes, and they're going to be green garlic. And then down here, we've got baby leeks and a salad rocket. So we'll just pop into the front garden, and it's still pretty productive. We've got some little bits of kale here still. The main veggie garden is doing nicely. I'm very pleased indeed with these spring onions. They're ready for harvest now. 
these decorative kales are looking, well, very decorative. We've got some tough ball overwintering onions there. Some nice looking parsley. We've harvested most of our red cabbages now. And we've got these beautiful little red cabbages forming where we cut the stem. We don't make a cross in the stem. We just leave it to split naturally. I find that when I make a cross in the stem like some people do, the stem just goes rotten and you don't get as good a regrowth. But as you can see, all of these are regrowing. Lovely little cabbages. The summer kales are just about holding on. I'm actually still getting quite a nice harvest off these. And these Pentland Brig just died on us. And now they've pretty much completely regrown new leaves straight off the stem. And we've got a few little bits and pieces of chard. And these are the collets, and they're looking great. Just look at all that growth on those stems. And these are further on than the ones on the allotment, which is a real bonus because these are absolutely ready for harvest. And when they come ready for harvest so early like this, you get a second flush of growth later on in about March time. So that, I think, is pretty much it for the kitchen garden. So I hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon.